Today, I thought I would do something a little bit different. Um, instead of spending time to come up with some new podcast, I really felt like the Lord was calling me to kind of step away with Him and spend more time with Him. And I think if I'm going to have an authentic podcast, then I need to make sure that I'm spending time with the Lord and and making sure that I have a good and healthy relationship with God. So it's just a reminder too that you know our relationship with the Lord is way more important than the things He's asked us to do or the way that maybe He's asked us to serve. So anyway, what I'm going to do is recycle a little bit the podcast I did with Matt Beckenham. It was called Exploring Grace, and it was about four weeks ago. So I want to remind you that um, Matt Beckingham is used to be a pastor. He knows the Word, and he knows Jesus, and he really is full of God's love. And so at the end of that podcast, he kind of walked you through having an encounter with Jesus where he shows you and just kind of gives you some hints or guidance on how to just sit with Jesus and just kind of spend time with him and you know let him love on you. So I want to give you another opportunity to spend time seeking out Jesus and just resting with him. As you sit with the Lord, you may see something, you may just have a feeling, or maybe you feel like in your spirit you can hear God speaking to you. He speaks to all of us in so many different ways. So give yourself a second, right? Just I know sometimes we always kind of want to hurry on to the next thing or we think, oh, that doesn't work. But I really want you to just allow yourself to rest and sit. And as your mind is flooded with thoughts, just kind of let them fall away and really pursue sitting with Jesus. Make sure there's not any distractions around you and listen to what Matt has to say as he leads you into this encounter. I ask them just to imagine themselves in Eden and let their imagination do all the work. And so we can remind ourselves of the stories of Eden and go, oh, okay, that's what I imagine. But I often find when I'm doing this with Australians, they're imagining somewhere in uh, in the Australian uh, outback or the forest or the bush, we call it. When I'm doing it with Americans, uh, Texans are out there on the, on the hill country or they're doing something where it feels very familiar right. and very safe. And so when people are praying, I get them to often start from that place of where is your happy place? Where is the place that you feel safe? And if you guys are watching and listening along, I often just invite people to close their eyes and imagine the safest place that they have been and allow all of their senses to come alive. So not just the thoughts, but not just your, the things that you can see, but the things that you can feel, the things that you can smell. And so for me, it's the beach. I love it. I can put my hands into the sand. And I'm, but for anyone who's watching, put yourself wherever you are, you feel safe, and allow that to be a moment of Eden where nothing separates you from his love. In that space, once you've taken time to notice everything around you, even you might feel the wind or smell the trees or smell the sea or whatever it is, invite Jesus to come and sit with you. He is the ultimate gentleman. He will not force himself into a conversation. He will not do uh, anything that is out of character with who he is. Invite Jesus to come and to sit with you and allow him, his presence, to be something that you sense, something that you feel. So maybe it's like when somebody sits next to you and you can feel that person's closeness. Maybe he's sitting opposite you and you can feel his presence even looking at you. Allow your imagination again to do the work. What's he doing? What's he saying? Could he be praying? Could he be laughing? Could he be sharing? Could he be waiting for a question? Prayer for me is a conversation. It's two ways. And so I'll often say, Jesus, what is on your heart? And he often says back to me a phrase that I've written in all my books is, uh, what do you see, Matt? And it allows me then into a conversation with him. So if you're watching and listening along and you find yourself in your happy place, sitting with Jesus, allow it to be a moment where he speaks. Use your imagination. And often people go, but it's my imagination. It's flawed. It's sinful. It's unclean. Uh, 1 Corinthians 
It tells you that you have the mind of Christ. In Acts, it tells you what Jesus has declared to be clean. Let no one declare unclean. In Peter, it tells you you share the divine nature of God. If you believe for these things, then you understand the power of the cross of what Christ has done for you. Allow your thoughts to be made known, spoken to him. Allow his voice. If you struggle with the concept of hearing God um, in this way, think about a Bible verse. The very first one that drops into your mind can often be the one that God wants to speak into your spirit. What does the verse mean to you? Allow yourself to interpret that verse in the context of your, your situation, your circumstance, your moment, and allow his voice then to speak into your spirit. When you're doing these things, my friends, this is the space for me, what I call Eden. Nothing separates you from, from him. He is full of grace. He is full of love, and he's wanting to impart his life in fullness, not in half measure, not in quarter measure, in fullness. He wants you to rest. He wants you to know that you are not only loved, but you are seen, you belong, you are with him, and he's going nowhere. Wow, that's so good. So I also took a few minutes and allowed myself to just sit with Jesus. And you know, he didn't say anything profound to me. He just wanted to spend time with me. He, I always feel like when I picture Jesus, we're always really close and we're, you know, we're sitting like physically close to each other, probably because that's just what I need right now. And um, I feel like he was just asking me, wondering, Cheryl, how are you doing? How are things going? Like he just wanted to have a conversation with me. So know that it's not always something super big and profound. And sometimes it is. But a lot of times he just wants to spend time with you. So I hope that this blesses you. And remember, you can always come back to this and do it as many times as you need to. Have a great week.